Three or four years ago, we had a tutorial up here at ediustips.com that helped people make a smooth transition from uh, Adobe Premiere Pro to Edius. And even though that uh, tutorial has been down now for a couple of years, I still get emails of people asking me um, about that tutorial and if they could possibly get a copy of that. So I thought while we're refurbishing our site here that uh, that might be one of the first tutorials that we redo again uh, since there is such a, an interest in that how to make a smooth transition from Premiere Pro to Edius. Let's go ahead and start a project. When Edius first starts up uh, go ahead and just double click on new preset. Let's take a brief look at what we have here. If you're not familiar with the screen, you might want to check out some of our earlier tutorials on getting started with Edius. But go ahead and pick a output device setting and output format of something that will match the media that you are, might already have on your hard drive. And then just take particular notice here in the right hand column, uh, especially down here under tracks default. If you're running um, Edius for the first time, you'll probably see something like this uh, video tracks 2, VA tracks 1, T tracks 1, A tracks 3 or 2. What we'd like you to do just so that your settings match ours and um, match the look and feel of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, go ahead and just switch this to 0, the T tracks to 0, maybe give yourself 3 video tracks. Uh, three audio tracks to start out with and then hit OK and then go ahead and double click on that preset you've just made and let's open up a project. Now don't worry too much if your particular Windows configuration doesn't exactly match mine. Uh, that's not too important for this tutorial but uh, do go to your bin window and uh, using the add file selection bring in some media from your hard drive, uh, preferably video clips. Um, so just go ahead and find something and uh, go ahead and import that. You don't need too many. Okay, so once you have some media into your bin, we can go ahead and uh, show you some of the things that you can do to make Edius work uh, a lot like Premiere Pro. When experienced editors come from other programs such as Premiere Pro and they first start to work with Edius, they may be surprised that as they uh, place a clip on the timeline, that as they point it to the video section of your timeline, all they see is the video part of the clip. They don't see the audio part. However, if they slip that down into the audio section, they'll see an audio representation, but not the video. And indeed, if I let my mouse clip go here, we see that only the video portion of the clip showed up on the timeline. Well, what's happening here? Edius would like you to tell it that you actually want the audio when you bring a clip down to the timeline and where to put it. And the way you can do that is by mapping an audio track. Go over to uh, any one of your audio tracks. Let's use track A here and select stereo channels 1 and 2. Now when you bring a video clip in, you'll notice that uh, you are going to get both the audio and the video. Now before we go any further, let's just take a quick look at our settings. Go to the top menu section here and under settings choose application settings. If you need to expand your inner menu options here, just hit the plus button here and then choose timeline which is actually the default window here. Go ahead and just make sure that extend clips is checked, uh, insert default crossfade is checked, and that your add clips to mapped track is unchecked. If you have this checked, Edius will work a lot more like uh, the Avid software. So if you are an Avid editor and you're having to make the switch to Edius, uh, you might want to keep that checked. But if you're a Premiere Pro user and you want Edius to work more like Premiere Pro does, go ahead and uncheck that. Hit OK. Now even though we have mapped the audio track, you might still notice as you grab a clip and place it on the timeline that should your mouse slip down into the audio section, that still all you have is the audio. And if you let it go, all you'll get is audio. Well, what Edius is looking for 
is for you to map also a video track and you can do that by going over to video one and selecting the V. Now as you bring a clip in you will always see audio and video uh, apply even if you slip down into the audio section uh, into the lower tracks here you'll see that uh, audio and video will be placed. You might also notice that by mapping the V1 track and the A1 track that EDIUS looks a lot more like uh, Adobe Premiere. As we bring in new clips, should we bring uh, a clip into the V2 track, you'll see that the audio is automatically directed to 2A. And if we were to bring in a third clip and place that on the V3 track, that the audio automatically goes to 3A. And that looks a lot like Premiere Pro. Now notice what happens if we go back to our settings, application settings and timeline, and check the add clips to mapped track. Hit apply, hit OK. Now as we try and add a clip to the timeline, you'll notice that there's no way that you can possibly put it on V2 without first going and remapping your tracks. And so you can see how this uh, is starting to look a lot more like Avid software, which is uh, very restrictive and demanding about uh, how you place your media on your timeline. So if you're coming from Premiere Pro, you'll want to be sure and keep that unchecked so that you can uh, be in a familiar environment using your more free style type of editing. Now, one other thing that we should take a look at that can be very frustrating to new users, especially if they're coming from Premiere Pro. And that is that by default, EDIUS, for some reason, uh, sets you into the insert mode of editing. Uh, what do I mean by insert mode? Well, let's say that we have defined um, a point on our timeline where we want to add our next clip. And we drag a clip from our bin window over to that point on the timeline. Notice what happens. EDIUS splits the video that's already there and moves the remaining portion down to the end of the clip that we've just inserted. And uh, as you start to try and correct that problem by grabbing the end of that, you'll see that uh, it is still connected to that first part uh, and is difficult to work with. It's, it causes all sorts of havoc on your timeline. Now how do we correct this? How do we get into the overwrite mode? There is an icon here. You'll see this little insert mode icon. Go ahead and just click it once and you're now in the overwrite mode. So now that we're in the overwrite mode, let's grab another clip from our bin and just drag that back to the same point and we'll notice that this time it overwrites and is a lot more like Premiere Pro. You'll also probably want to change one more setting, the set ripple mode, set that so that it's off. And in other tutorials, we'll take a look at some circumstances where having the ripple mode and the insert mode on is advantageous. But for the most part, if you're a Premiere Pro user, you'll want to have the overwrite mode on and the set ripple mode off. And with those settings in place, you should start to feel very comfortable in the EDIUS uh, software very quickly.